try and spend no money in February. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Saren. I'm a blind and neurodivergent content creator. This is my first video in quite a while. I'm not very good at keeping up with YouTube. This is technically for a uni assignment, but I figured it would be interesting to document for fellow neurodivergent people. So basically, what I'm going to do is try and spend no money in February. I've got a few things that are essentials that have to be paid for, like food bills, transport, etc. I feel like this sounds easy on the outside, but I am notorious for just buying little things here and there, buying little treats just to keep me going through the week. So I think a lot of neurodivergent people, especially people with ADHD, find that. And sometimes it can feel a little bit compulsive. So I'm really interested to see how I do this month, just to see what I find essential and what I can actually live without. Um, and if I feel fine by the end of the month, then my bank account is gonna be screaming with joy. I meant to start this video yesterday because yesterday was really interesting and then my brain kind of went, oh my God, like spend everything now. My brain is very all or nothing. So this could either be really difficult or really easy, but then when we get to March, I could totally overspend. So if this is up, then there's also an article up about it if you want to read it. Wish me luck and let's go. <laughs> Vegan chocolate cake. I've just got back some more parcels that I I did order them last month. I think the one thing I'm gonna have to be really careful with this month is that I definitely found myself today forgetting my lunch, which is a regular occurrence just because I'm forgetful, going into the refectory and not buying anything, that could potentially go quite downhill for me, especially having put on weight recently. My brain's back in like, we need to lose it again mode, so anyway, <laughs> earrings, a little band called Rose Handmade, and she packages them so cutely. So I got sitting up pigs, lying down pigs. I these feel like the sitting up ones, so those ones must have been the lying down ones. These are definitely the dinosaurs. Look, they're so cute. I feel like I need to be doing that beauty influencer thing. Now symbol. And then these should be my blue whales. Oh, they're so cute. So it's day three. I've just been going through my bank app and I looked at how much money I'd spent last year and oh my god. So it was wrong because it's kind of counted money that I get into my main account and then move around to different accounts as like spending it. So so this is future editing Sarah and I've explained this so badly. So basically what's happened is that I don't keep my money in the same account that my bank card is attached to because I can spend money on my phone and I don't trust people. Um, so when I need it, I transfer it out of a savings account and then when I, and then if I don't use it, I transfer it back. So it's basically been adding up money that I don't actually own because it thinks it's new money going in and coming out when it's the same bit of money. Um, but I didn't realise that at the time, so I was very upset with the amount I had spent, even though it wasn't actually as much as I thought it was. It's day six, and I've just been to uni, but I, again, forgot my lunch, and, um, I bought a sandwich and a packet of crisps from the refectory, and although I know food is on my, like, it's on my list of things that's okay to buy. It just felt really wrong and now my brain's like, oh my god, you've ruined it. And I just think that really highlights how my brain works. And not ruined it in a, like, oh my god, I'm just gonna spend all my money kind of way, but like, I'm just really frustrated. And it feels like I've really messed it up. Realistically, it doesn't really matter. And I needed lunch because I had a lecture to go to and I wasn't going to be able to concentrate if I didn't go to the lecture, but I'm just really annoyed. <laughs> but I got a sandwich and a cake 
and crisps. Four legitimate food items. From the refectory. It was like six pounds. Yeah, but you're allowed food. We don't want to do it. I feel like I'm cheating though. You might feel like you're cheating, but I think that might be Brian. It's day nine. Day nine, nine forty-five. Um, the first time I've ever brought lunch into uni. But oh, she's here. It's day 12 and this is the first example of what we like to call ADHD tax because I have not left the house on time and so I've had to get a taxi or I'm going to be late to something important. <sighs> and I could have not spent anything at all and got there or paid through the nose for a taxi. Uh, this is so annoying. I wish I could drive, um, but they don't let blind people drive in this country, funnily enough. So I am ah, panicking because I did something stupid. So yeah, that was a bit stupid and I look like an egg, so win-win. So we are technically halfway through, not quite, tomorrow is halfway. It's the 13th today and tomorrow's quite busy so I'm just gonna do a little halfway catch up from here. So I don't forget because I will forget. I'm actually quite proud that I've kept recording. Um, I haven't recorded much every few days maybe but that is better than what I was expecting to do and it's kind of keeping me going with it. And I have to say my bank account is loving this. <laughs> like it's looking quite healthy <laughs> compared to last month. So according to my banking app, I have spent £164.82, pence, but a lot of that was actually stuff that hadn't um, gone through in January, so that's what I was quite frustrated about because like, it would be a lot less. So the things I've actually spent this month were £6 on six pounds on my lunch in the refectory a few days ago 27 pound 49 or something like that on phone bills and insurance i rely a lot on my phone especially as a blind person so i need data all the time or i can't really get anywhere because i use google maps and move it like constantly like even if i'm going somewhere where i know where it is i've always got google maps on just in case i like take a little wrong um, turn or something like that um, and I've spent £35 on groceries and it just it looks very dramatic on the banking app because I paid my rent last term last I paid my rent in January and that is like a whole semester so that's a massive chunk apparently I've spent um, 2,545 pounds less <laughs> than I did last month but that is just because of rent so it's not quite that dramatic and then I spent 15 quid on a taxi and I'm still annoyed about that taxi because if I had got out and ready I wouldn't have had to pay for it and I was still late he drove really really slowly anyway um, we not necessarily his fault we literally hit every traffic light we possibly could and then he accidentally took me to the wrong place but it's been really interesting to kind of break it all down and see what money actually like builds up because of my disabilities because i feel like this is a different thing about doing the snow spend month is that some of my essentials are different like if my cane had broken this month or if i needed a new cane tip this month new canes are like 40 quid new cane tips are like 20 quid people have probably heard of the adhd tax and this is just when your adhd causes you to do something and you have to either replace it or like spend money to fix the problem that adhd caused it's been quite weird to see kind of what how that works for me because very much missing the bus that's a massive one for me and I just, I'm constantly late and I'm constantly missing things and I actually hate being late for things. I 
I really despise it. So the taxi, and then another really interesting thing was like how many little payments come out of my bank account each month. So like I pay for um, a Google One subscription, so I've got like 100 gigabytes of storage or whatever, and I totally forgot about that, and that's only like a pound a month, but like it kind of adds up, and I, because I'd forgotten about it, I hadn't cancelled it. I usually put like reoccurring payments in my calendar because I know I'll forget but there have been a few times where I haven't and a really big payment has come out of my account like £50 for GoPro. I don't need to spend £50 for a GoPro account, I'm a student, like that is just way too much money. <whistles> but it's definitely, made, it's definitely making me a lot more aware of what I'm spending and I think this is a really good thing for me like it's gi giving me a bit of a kick I used to be really really frugal as a child like if I didn't need it I wouldn't spend it it's very good at deciding whether I needed something or not and even as a teenager like we'd go into Primark and I'd be like do I really need this and usually the answer was no so I wouldn't buy it and my friends were buying things every time we went in there. And I think that was a case of my brain being very, very all or nothing. And when I was a child, obviously, I didn't have, like, income. So it was all, like, birthday money and Christmas money, which I was very lucky to get anyway. But once you've spent that, it's gone until the next time. And you can't guarantee you're going to get it the next time. So I think it was very much, like, scarce. It felt very scarce, whereas now I've got, like, kind of an income um, where I know I'm going to get the next payment. It's like, oh, yeah, but I can just do that because I'm going to get paid. And that's kind of a dangerous mindset for me, personally, because that just means I can keep spending and spending and spending. And it's filling up my room. I don't have that much space. I'm a student. This isn't my room. Like, it's stuff that... It makes me happy in the moment, but then afterwards it's just sort of in the way and it can be a massive weight on your shoulders when there's just so much stuff in such a small space that it doesn't fit everywhere and it feels messy and like you can't think properly with a messy space and I find it very hard to clear up my own space anyway. So like not being able to get to things and that's actually quite dangerous as a blind person because if I forget something and I leave it on the floor that's a trip hazard and I can fall and whack my head because like I don't remember where everything is all the time. Those are my halfway point observations. I'm finding this just so fascinating. <laughs> I don't feel as bad as I thought I would like I use spending as a way to sort of make myself feel good but I can replace that with things like tomorrow's valentine's day we're making valentine's cards and it's really cute and i've put lots of thought into it and i've spent ages making it and that just feels so much better for me the one thing i would say is that i don't think i've gone out as much quite often the only time i go out is to go into town and when you go into town you spend money like cafes and just wandering around shops like that's just how I got myself outside because there was like an external motivator for it like I could get something nice whereas I find it hard to just go yeah I'm just gonna go for a walk like that's because it's quite a lot of effort as a blind person anyway there isn't really that external motivator so I think buying things and money is a massive one for me so fingers crossed for the rest of the month and yeah Let's keep going. No, it's not. Wow. It's day 21. I'm about to go to uni, but I've forgotten to cancel another subscription. So my Audible has just come out of my account. I'm really not doing very well at this. Um, I haven't spent anything else. Later today, I'm going to have to go shopping because I'm doing a bake sale. So I've got to buy all the ingredients for that. And... I don't know. I'm just not very good at planning things and organising things. This month is really making me see that. <laughs> it's not, not the best. Yeah, I'm just 
so bad with money. I don't feel quite as bad as I thought I would though. I mean, I even got given a £50, a £50 Primark voucher and I haven't spent it. Like, I don't need more clothes, I don't need more stuff, but sometimes you just have to buy some more stuff because you feel like shit. That's so, that's such a bad reason, but that's my brain's reasoning for it. I remember my water bottle this time, about to go to uni, and then later I'm going to record a podcast episode with Lucy Edwards, um, which should be really cool, and hopefully I live to see her. Cheers. <laughs> It's definitely days like this where I get the little, I let the little problems that being blind causes get to me. Because I just spent, accidentally spent 15 quid in Aldi on stuff for a fundraiser. And like, I'm just really annoyed because it was just because I got things muddled up. My app wasn't reading the prices on the shelves. So while I could work out what things were, ha, like, I don't think I got the cheapest thing I could from each thing and it's one of those moments where I'm feeling like I may as well have just put 15 quid into the thing I'm fundraising for rather than doing the bake sale because I don't know that it will be worth it. I have no idea if I explained that well at all but basically like, there are just so many little things that I wouldn't have thought about before I lost my sight. Like the fact that even though I've got apps that can read out all of the prices and things on the shelves, in Audi, where I just went, they aren't always, like, lined up. So I was getting, like, the wrong prices for things. And also, I'm really not very good at maths. I never have been. I just can't keep the numbers in my head properly. And that causes lots of problems. But I was, like, counting up as I was going, and I must have picked up, like, the wrong thing from the wrong shelf and it just added up to way more than I expected it to. And I'm just so frustrated because, like, that's literally not the point of fundraising. Like, you're meant to spend as little as possible. So I'm just really frustrated. And also, at the moment, I'm having a problem where I can't really feel my fingers properly. So I've counted wrong um, how many, like, bars of... how many bars of chocolate I bought. And also... Um, I misheard, I misheard how much butter I needed, so I bought two when I could have just got one. That is just a lot of chocolate. And I don't know if that was the cheapest butter either. Because the problem I had with this is that because I couldn't get my phone to read, um, what the actual chocolate bar weighed, like, I just wouldn't find it on the back of it. I didn't know how much, so I just guessed. And mm, guessing is not my strong point. Well, maths is not my strong point. So guessing maths, even worse. Um, also, I don't think I've ever bought eggs in my life. They're, so, they're quite expensive and kind of gross. Like, yeah, a bit icky. Oh my God. I'm getting to terms with being blind. I'm coming around to the idea that my sight's not coming back and that I just need to get on with it. But there are little times like this where I'm like, oh my god, fuck this. And I guess it helped that I wasn't shopping for myself. Like, I find it really difficult to shop, to food shop for myself. Like, I just, I can't do it. <laughs> um, this isn't for me, luckily. So it was slightly less stressful in that way. But, oh my god. <laughs> It's day 22, and I don't know if I recorded this already this morning, um, so have it again. But it is World Thinking Day. Oops. <laughs> Try again. It's World Thinking Day, which is basically a girl guiding and scouting thing. Um, and we sort of celebrate the fact that the movement is so massive all over the world, which is quite cool. So I wore my uniform to uni today. Um, but yeah. The actual thing about this video that I was adding was that I came across another disability related cost today which was slightly annoying um, because obviously I have Tourette's and it hasn't been that active over the last like few months. It's been quite calm 
but today my phone got thrown and now I need yet another new screen protector and I don't currently have any so I'm gonna have to buy them um, because it's like flaking off little bits of glass which isn't great for anybody. Another cost that my disabilities seem to just add up and add up and it's very annoying. Ah! I also managed to break my lanyard this morning um, because <laughs> I, I can't bend my fingers properly, so I couldn't open the front door, so my learning support had to go uh, to come and get me, and I had to chuck my keys out of the top window, and it broke my lanyard, like my card holder on my lanyard, so I now don't have anywhere to put my um, bus pass, which is where I keep it, because otherwise I always forget it, and then that costs even more money. If I forget my bus pass, I have to pay again for the bus, so, um, yeah, not great. It just seems to keep adding and adding. Um, I've also got to tidy all up, all of the mess up from yesterday. It's going great. But I've got a free co cookie cutter today. Um, that's fun. <laughs> I'm tempted to make cookies. Don't need to make more baking mess, or I don't need to make any more mess. Happy word thinking day. <laughs> so much mess. Oh my god. So it's day 24 and this is the first day I've spent back in accommodation like for the whole day because uni's been pretty full on recently um, and I am realising how much money is like a motivator to get out. I'd love to just go for a walk or something but especially when you have a visual impairment you can't just go and walk somewhere new. Frustrating and I haven't been here for this long for ages so I'd totally forgotten. Yeah, today I managed to sleep from 9am until 3pm. Not the most productive day. Because it's half term now. Not not technically half term. It's like a we've got a week off of uni, so I have nothing to do. And here comes my biggest problem in that I have a quite a big fear of germs and uni kitchens are notoriously not great. Ours isn't that bad, but gets quite out of hand sometimes. Um, especially since losing sight, it's been worse because I can't see what I'm putting my stuff down on or like touch other people's things to even wipe the surfaces down. Um, so it, this is something I really, really struggle with because I also can't stand ordering takeaway in. And it didn't matter as much when I was, like, using it as an excuse, really. Um, the fact that I couldn't use the kitchen. But now I need... I know that I need to eat. But if I can't make myself do it, like, even the toaster is grim. Then I don't eat here. Um, and that's obviously a big issue. Like, I've noticed my concentration and everything get so much better the stupid thing is i love cooking like it's not even like a being at uni thing um because i love cooking i just can't do it in that kitchen which i hate um but last year i had a studio and it was just a bit like all up in your own space um and also way too expensive i couldn't afford it this year so woo fun Day 26, and who made life so expensive? Ah, <clears throat> there are just so many things everywhere that's like, pay this here, and pay this here, and pay this deposit for this thing here. And I'm literally trying to sign up for counselling, and it's going, pay this, pay the small fee. £50 is not a small fee. That was Costa on the 27th, yesterday. Um, basically, I went and sat in there to do my work and I ended up getting food. And I was a bit annoyed with it because Costa's quite expensive. Um, but now it's the 28th, we've got one day left. Well, the rest of today and then tomorrow. And it's been okay. I desperately would like my eyebrows done, but that's something I can live without. I think one of the important things to note is that we decided straight off the bat that no food was off limits because that's when it can become like restrictive for me um, 
So, like, if we wanted a takeaway, we got a takeaway. We didn't actually get anything other than the Burger King I got um, when I went back to my accommodation. But, and I'm still kind of annoyed about that and kind of annoyed about all the stuff that I, like, got from uni and because I could have avoided that. But it was what we agreed, no food is off limits. So I think that was a really important distinction to make in this challenge so it didn't get unhealthy. Yep, yeah, one day left. I think it's highlighted how many things I spend money on that are very to do with my disabilities. Like, for example, getting my eyebrows done. I used to just do it myself, but since losing my sight, I obviously can't. So that's an extra cost. And we've got guide camp tomorrow so good way to end the challenge um and then i gotta start writing this article i don't know that i'm 100 percent happy with how this challenge has gone but i've definitely not spent money on anything other than food which is kind of what i agreed to do so yeah so it is the 6th of march i'm at my parents house and Quite honestly, it was just as well that I did no spend February because um, this morning my bunny passed away um, and that's like £315 worth of vet vet's bills, which for a student, that's a lot of money. <sighs> yeah, really sad. It's now been almost exactly a month since that last video. Um, it's been really important to sort of see how my spending habits changed over March um, because I was really convinced that we were going to get to March and I was just going to go like, spend, 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 spend. Um, and it didn't quite work like that. Like, I feel like I've managed to get back to being the sort of like, do I really need that or am I just spending it because I want to spend it? Um, which has been amazing for my bank account. Um, but I have got a tattoo. Um, it's got all of my siblings' birth flowers, but also some foxgloves, because Fion, my bunny's name, means foxglove in Welsh. I'm a lot less stressed about the money, because obviously it's saved back up, um, so I've got a little bit of a buffer there, so if anything were to happen, it could get me out of a sticky situation. Um, that was a really good challenge to do, and I would highly recommend. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, or leave a comment, um, and check out my other social medias in the description if you haven't already. The article is also on my website, which is also in my direct me in the description. And thank you so much for watching. Bye!